I'm happy to see the Supreme Court's going to take this. I just think it's very difficult to predict what they're going to do because you're correct that Roberts dissented in the Texas case, but then Roberts joined the liberal justices in this Louisiana case just a couple months ago to put a stay on the law, which allowed the abortion clinics to stay open while they appealed the law to the Fifth Circuit and then the Supreme Court. So to me, that doesn't signal what Roberts is going to do one way or the other. I agree with you. I don't trust Roberts. I think he cares too much about uh, what the media thinks of him and what his quote unquote legacy on the bench is going to look like in the history books. And he doesn't, he wants it so much to be non-political that he ends up making decisions based on something political, which is not what you're supposed to do as the chief justice of the Supreme Court. But he's not the only one. Kavanaugh, Brett Kavanaugh has a history with this case as well, how he voted um, when, when the Fifth Circuit, or when, how, how he voted previously in this case what does that suggest to you? Because Kavanaugh himself seemed like he was looking for a compromise or a way around the Supreme Court being the ones to decide this case. How do you anticipate that would impact his ultimate ruling? Yeah, so you're right to point out how Roberts seemed to flip from Hellerstead to his siding with the liberals to grant the stay back in February. I mean, I wrote a column for our site, The Daily Wire, just just ripping John Roberts for this. I believe I called it his his cowardice in my headline. So I, I, I tore him a new one, and I, I felt pretty good about that, to be honest with you, because he frankly deserved it. Kavanaugh, now he wrote separately. When you dissent from this sort of um, decree, you don't have to write anything. You can just dissent. Kavanaugh wrote separately. He wrote like a three and a half to four page dissent. It was very weird. You're right to flag it. It was kind of wishy-washy. A lot of conservatives were like, uh, what's going on here? He seemed to be trying to find a cute way out. So that was a red flag in and of itself. My best guess here is that they probably will find a way to uphold the Fifth Circuit ruling, and a, a, but they're going to do it on very, very narrow grounds. I wouldn't expect this to be like a landmark decision or anything like that. Roberts and Kavanaugh will find a way to preserve what they view as the institutional integrity of the court, but uphold the Fifth Circuit. Um, now, what's interesting here, though, Liz, is that it's actually not just the undue burn standard that's at issue. The court also granted cert in, this is kind of legally in the weeds, but the state of Louisiana filed a conditional cross petition that challenged so-called third party standing doctrine for abortionists. What this means is that Louisiana wrote separately asking the court to review its doctrine that allows abortionists to bring these cases to begin with. That's actually arguably even more important than the undue burn standard itself. Because if the court were to rule that abortion providers have no standing to even bring suit on behalf of the women who have the purported 14th Amendment constitutional right that the court fabricated in Roe, that would in and of itself completely do away with probably 80 to 90 percent of abortion litigation in the courts. So that's a very interesting issue in itself to keep an eye on. And that's going to make this opinion particularly interesting, I think.